Welcome everybody. Welcome to Homestead Heart. And this is another day of chicken coop building. And as you can see, we have wall number one up. We got to make some adjustments, but we got the first wall up. We're getting ready to start on the next wall. Hopefully we'll have all of the walls up um, today. So y'all stay tuned as we get the walls up. But uh, let me go back over here and show you this. There she is. So, if y'all know what kind of spider that is, let me know. She's uh, taking care of all of the bugs for us in the strawberry um, beds here. I mean, she's a big girl. And she got something. Oh my goodness. Okay. What in the world is she holding? Good grief, y'all. That's a big spider. Is that a bee she's holding? I think it's a bee. Now look, sister. If that's a bee, I don't mind you killing a lot of stuff, but that's just not acceptable. That's not acceptable. All right, y'all. Let me show you this. Everything was going absolutely great until <laughs> get over here and when I put this wall up it was hanging too far off the edge by at least two three inches. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustments I don't know. I'm gonna um, get this wall up first and that wall and um and then just see where i stand with that so but anyway i got them nailed in all the way around i realize this is a little uneven up top up here but that's okay this is a little i'm recording this is a little off right here at the bottom as you can see but that's an easy fix that's an easy fix so but anyway, I guess for a chicken coop, you know, I guess it's, I'm not going to make too much of a fuss over it because I can adjust it, you know. If I was building a house, <laughs> that would be a different story. But since this was well, a house, but since it's just a house for my chickens, that's all right. That's okay. I'll figure it out. All right, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Yeah, got to get that thing fixed. Okay. So, walls are up. All the way around. And, um, I don't know what's going on with my camera. I don't know. When I put the camera on for the other side, it wouldn't record. I don't know what's going on with it. So, I just realized after all this time I hit record and there was nothing there so gosh that's awful too because I wanted you to see how I was able to get this up and um, man that's terrible but anyway um, um, but any case in any case it's up <sighs> just looking for this pencil all right, so as you could see, I'm trying to keep you out of the sun. I braced the corners here with my, let me turn this way because it's the same all the way around. I braced it here with a two by four to hold this wall and the wall on the other side together. Now, I made some mistakes here and I realized what those mistakes were 
but it was just too late for me to I'm, I wasn't gonna start over right so I had to make some adjustments by the time I put all my walls up this wall right here was too wide to fit down here at the base it was too wide I, I, I couldn't get it on there and I realized darn I didn't do something right or something I don't know what it was but um, so what I had to do was um, have this wall I set it back down and I measured and I think it was about gosh two inches or so maybe two and a half inches or so that I had to cut off from both the top piece up here and also my bottom piece. I had to cut off. So I had to take this board off, took this board off and, and cut all the way down from that top board up there, this one. Then I had to cut this one and then I had to cut my bottom plate as well. And then I nailed my two by four back into those two by fours as well. And that shortened it up so that I can get it up here. And that's why, <laughs> that's why this corner, what was that? Is that a frog? That's why that corner looks like that and not together. Let me see what that was. If you're in a movie, you're never supposed to go and say, hey, I saw something move. Let me go see what that was. <laughs> you never do that in the movies, right? <laughs> I don't know maybe it was a frog or something but I don't see anything now but um in any case you all this has been quite some work right here and I am um, I'm exhausted <laughs> oh I'm tired but it's up here we got it done and um, oh and let me show you some other of my mistakes too this is the hole for my nesting boxes I have one here and then I have another one here this is the front of the coop so I have one here for nesting boxes this is the door and then I have another here for nesting boxes so let me tell you what I did and I think I did it when I was tired and shouldn't have I should have just stopped when I felt like I was too tired to continue but no I wanted to push on so let me tell you what I did. This board right here, I don't know if you can see this, but this board is so off. <laughs> it is so off. This side is low, this side is high, and it's like that because when I nailed it in, I nailed it in, I had it pushed up a little bit too high when I nailed it in, and I didn't see it, and I should have took, taken, took it apart but I didn't because by the time I finished, I'm like, if I have to take this board apart, that's Grizz and Tamu over there. They're in doggy daycare. But um, if I uh, had to take, it was just, I didn't want to have to take all of it apart. Well, not all of it, but in order to get this board out, I would have had to knock this out knock this out knock this out <laughs> and if I knock these out right here that would have knocked out the lower boards here and it would have knocked out my other boards up there because like I said I was finished when I stood it up is when I noticed it uh, when I stood it up here is when I noticed it so I was like oh wait a minute when we stood it up here nailed in to the bottom plate is when I noticed oh my goodness my nesting box thing is off now one of the suggestions my husband made was that you know we could always just try to cut through here to cut those nails off of here and then lower it because what I didn't do like I had been doing with all of the others I had been using my pencil to mark where I should put the board to put the nail in. 
And like I said, for some reason, I didn't do it this time. I think I was just really tired. And the same thing here. This one here is much higher. This side is higher than that side. See, that's lower. Then it goes up. So the same thing there. So lesson learned when I'm tired and I know I'm tired, it's best to stop so I don't make careless mistakes like not marking off when, when I know I should mark off, not doing that because I'm like, man, but that's okay. That's going to be, um, that's not going to be a problem. It's for my nesting boxes. I'm going to, I'm sure I'll figure out a solution to making it even or making it look good because you're not going to see it uh, from the outside because when I open the door to the nesting boxes, let me show you as I walk out of the door. When I open the door to the nesting boxes here, um, actually, let me tell you, actually, I have to put, let me hold this. Okay, so actually what I have to do is um, I'm going to have um, pieces of ripped 2 by 4 okay? Because really, I'm going to have plywood sitting up here, and the plywood is going to come out about so far. Yeah, it's going to come out about so far, and it's going to have ripped 2 by 4 here. Let me see if y'all can see me. It's going to be framed out, so it's going to be protruding out, and it's going to be here, and then it's going to go across, and then back here, and the same for up here. It'll come out, because what this is going to be, um, I'm going to have a lid on the outside that I can just lift the lid up and go inside and get my eggs out. So that's how I'm going to do that. In fact, I may go ahead and do that now <laughs> um, I'm not that tired that I don't feel like I can't rip some 2 by 4s down the middle and um, and get the framing for my nesting boxes put in so yeah and then we have some plywood we were thinking about doing paneling but that would be an added cost at $20 a sheet but we have plywood um, in different areas of the homestead we have some plywood that we could probably use you know i don't like using that pressed wood stuff it is ugly <laughs> and so i really want this to look good you know i want it to look nice um uh, i know some people you know prefer like the simpler chicken coops and stuff and um that's perfectly fine but you know for me I, I, I want it to look nice. I want it to be a beautiful chicken house. <laughs> I want it to be pleasing to my eyes because I take a lot of pride in when I do something. I just like for it to look nice, right? So, um, look nice on a budget. Yeah. So, and, and really so far, um, we didn't even have to buy a... We didn't buy a lot of this lump. We bought most of it, especially the treated boards at the very bottom. We got treated wood at the bottom here. Our plates down here is treated. And then we set our regular studs on top. But, um, yeah, so that's what we did. That's what we did. Now what we have left to do are our trusses. And we got to brace the top. You see here, there's no bracing up top. So we got to connect these together with two by four. So we'll be bracing those across the center there. And, um, and then, of course, we'll be connecting um, here as well. We'll be doing the corners and the centers. We'll be putting two by fours right over the top of the corners here going this way and the same thing over there going straight across that corner and then one in the center so we're going to be bracing to connect everything and then right here where the boards sorry jack right here where the boards come together we're going to be nailing into those to also join them here um as well and then once we get the roof done that's when the door will go in 
and uh, same thing here we'll be nailing into here to connect these two bracing the top corner up there see how these are separate but what we'll do is we'll push them together and then we'll put some four inch nails in there so we'll be doing that all the way around so um, we still just have a little ways to go with getting the um, with uh, the framing you know I think the, the the final thing we'll be doing as far as framing is gonna be the roof and then after that and we're not gonna even have a really high pitch on this thing either not too high but anyway that's gonna do it for today it's been a long evening and uh, a long day rather and uh, now the sun is setting in the east in the <laughs> I thought it was that sun is setting in the west and um, get that shadow off of me can't do it all right there we wait wait found a spot all right <laughs> all right so the sun is setting in getting ready to set in the west not the east <laughs> in the west if you're a child watching this video, do not go tell your parents that Mrs. Homestead Hart says the sun sets in the east. I'm clearing it up now. It sets in the west. <laughs> okay, y'all. Okay, so I had to put back on my sweatshirt. <laughs> you got cold. All right, y'all. So I think I've basically given y'all the gist of everything. Like I said, I don't know what's going on with this phone that is not recording the other way right now i don't know maybe i need to restart it i don't know but it won't record facing out it'll only record on this side so i don't know what the deal is but anyway y'all that's the progress of the chicken house right now like i said i really wanted to show this because when i was trying to find like tutorials for a chicken house this size I wasn't able to do it so I'm really glad um, I wanted to show this and share this with you all so that's okay hopefully tomorrow we'll have this thing remedied out so with that being said I really want to say thank you to all of our new subscribers all of our existing subscribers and to everybody who will be subscribing today and in the near future we certainly certainly appreciate your support so with that being said Thank you all so much for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to you all. We'll see you in the next video.